Okay. So I really wanted to go over goal setting as our first call because it's so important to start the year with the vision of where you want to go. I know that can be scary as you look at, um, you know, where you want to be and where you are right now, but we all start with a clean slate. So no matter where you are in this business, you can seriously take off and surpass any coach that's before you, any coach that joins after you, whatever you're thinking, one, we don't compare, but it's just really cool to know that everybody starts at zero. Everybody starts at zero in January. And so you can look at that as you are a fresh brand new start and you can do what you wanted to do. And I say this because um, Super Saturday, um, Jeff Hill, what he's like, don't relive the same year. Don't look at 2015 and think that that's going to be your year again. It does not have to be, but it's going to have to take you deciding and committing right now to doing something different, to make the changes, and to really create the vision that you see for yourself. And that's asking yourself, you know, what are you willing to do right now to change your life? What are you willing to do right now to change your business, to help your team, to really um, make life look different for your family, be different for your family. And so it's kind of why I wanted to go over this right now. And then I also wanted to get into the how of like reverse engineering that. You can be like, okay, great, I have these goals. But now what I need to do in my business beyond just, okay, three to five people every month. I wanted to show you how I kind of reverse engineered my goals to really um, gauge my progress and see where I needed to put more focus and really reach the goals that I had in place. Um, starting from the very first day that I started. So I'm going to start with you know, setting SMART goals. I know we've heard it before, but I'm going to go over it again, especially for those that have heard it. Um, SMART, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. So it's so important to make sure that you have goals that you know, have clear clarify the description. So instead of just saying 2016 elite or, you know, diamond coach, talk about what you need to do to get there. So number of coaches added every month. So who's getting success club that month? Um, the coaches that you're helping to get Emerald and helping them see the vision of why to get Emerald. Coaches that you're helping see the vision of why success club is so important for growth and so important for their goals. Um, Instead of just saying that you want to be a certain rank or you know a certain um, getting elite, you've got to talk about more than that, beyond that. What do you need to do to get there? Um, identifying and seeing and feeling when you're when you reach it. So instead of just saying getting healthy, it's you know I'm putting in five workouts a week. I'm completing a program. It's so 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 important, you guys, to complete a program. You might have heard it before. I mean, it's fun to bounce around, but as far as your market goes and showing them that you can be the product of the product, you want to show them what one product can do, what one program can do for them, how it can change their body because it's changing yours. You can go through the entire program and know what they're going to be feeling when they go through it. And you can explain things to them better. And that's the way I love to do it. Like, I love to go through programs and be like, this is how my body's changing. This is what I'm going through mentally. Maybe I didn't want to do it today, but I got up and did it because it's only 30 minutes. And, you know, in 21 Day Fix Extreme, I was able to explain how plyometrics, my body just loved plyometric work and the jumping and, you know, activating those muscles. And so you're able to learn a lot more going through the entire program than just jumping around to kind of see what all the programs are. Pick one. Um, you don't have to. I know it took me a while to find one I love. You know, I did P90X and P90X3, and I never finished those because it wasn't really my my um, soulmate program to do. So it took me a minute to find one that I wanted to finish, T25, and then 21 Day Fix and all those. Um, once you do find one, stick with it and finish it so you can get this before and after so you can show them how it's done. Um, attainable. What's the weight effort? Weigh the effort, um, the time, and the cost. What work do you need to put in right now to get there? Can you get there in 2016? If you want, one thing to say, like, I'm, you know, you're just starting out and then you, you're going for top 10. And that's an awesome goal. And I love that you're, you know, a go-getter. That may not be attainable in 2016. I hate saying that because I never like downplaying a goal. But 
if you're just just starting out, it's really hard. It's you've got to build that momentum. You've got to build that team. And then the next year, yes, top ten is yours. But don't put that this year when you know that it might not be available and measurable in this year. Definitely put it on say 2017. Go for it. And then you know that you need to do it, what you need to do in 2016 to build that momentum for, for 2017. Make sure it's relevant. Like I said, fits into your lifestyle. Like I said, with top 10, might not fit into your lifestyle if you're just starting out for 2016, but 2017 it would. Maybe right now you just want to get home with your kids. You're working full-time or even part-time, and you want to be done with the 9 to 5, you want to be more present in your family's life. That is relevant. Maybe you're not feeling your best, and you're pre-diabetic, or you've got you know high blood pressure, and you're just ready to get feeling better right now, and that's relevant. So those are the kind of goals that you want to set. And then deadlines. So instead of just saying diamond 2016, you're gonna set a date. May 18th is on here because that's the quarter two end and it's the um, where you get recognition as summit um, is May 18th is the deadline for that. So find out when you know recognition deadlines are, when quarterly deadlines are, it's all in the FAQ um, and you're able to set dates that way. That's how I set my dates um, and how I help my coaches set their dates as well. That being said, I love SMART goals, but I also love what Brendan Bouchard says when he's like, be dumb about it. He's like, yeah, set SMART goals. You want them to be specific. And he, he's like, be dumb about it. And let me elaborate on that. I think of a dream board. We have things on here that could be right now, this year. It could be years down the road from now, like the home, it says dream big. That's not for my this year. But I'm putting it up there because I know that I want to get there. And having it in my sight is going to help me continue to work and do the daily activities I need to do to keep that momentum going to get there. So what does he mean by be dumb about it? He, D is for like dumb or dumb, <laughs> dream driven. It's like when you're talking about it, you're looking at the stars, you wanna be amongst the stars. You're thinking about, okay, I wanna buy, it'd be so awesome to buy a home with cash one day, a car with cash one day, put my child through college. You know, whatever it is, when you're talking about it, you're looking up at the stars and you're smiling, you're excited, you're, you um, get butterflies about it. That's what he means with the D, dream driven. Make it uplifting. How will you feel? How will it feel to be Diamond? I remember when I was pushing for Diamond with the five-star coach with Brittany, we always thought about and talked about how it would feel. How it would feel to see my name next to, you know, a diamond on a picture on my page and Brittany talking about what we just pushed through. How would it feel to know that I just did something that I was the underdog for that one, you know, just an, barely an emerald coach and having to push in 30 days to Diamond. How would it feel to know that I just did something that I didn't even think was possible at the beginning? How would it feel? So when you're doing that, when you're putting that together, think about how it would feel because that then it goes beyond just black and white, what you put on paper or pretty pictures on a dream board. It really, um, you want to get there because you're already feeling it and now you have to make it reality and you'll stop at nothing to get there. So that's why it's good to have me get left uplifting and really sense how it's going to feel um, because then it can part becomes a part of you and now there's there's no other option but to get there method friendly so making sure just like you know it said before making sure that you you're able to set daily goals to get there each body they make it super awesome for us and we have the three vital, three vital behaviors you know they tell us to invite they tell us to share our journey do our workouts have personal development um and all those are the daily activities, but it goes beyond that. It goes towards the power hour, which I know that your coach has shared with you before, and doing those daily activities that move your business forward. If you're busy and you're like, there's no way I'm going to be able to make some pretty pictures, no, you don't have to be fancy that day. Make sure you get that power hour in because you know that's going to move you forward. And when you have those goals that are, that are smart, that are dumb, that are crazy, uplifting, that make you look at the stars, you make sure that you get those daily activities done because if you don't you lose momentum if you don't you're one step back from your goal and you don't want to do that to yourself not in 2016 you guys we're not doing that this year be behavior driven so being intentional you know not just um you know, knowing what the practices are but doing them when you have your personal development i love how shaleen says to you know maybe go do a chap go through a chapter and then that week apply it and then the next week go through another chapter and apply it instead of just like driving through chapter by chapter by chapter to finish the book, 
going through it slowly. And it, as you're learning things, really applying it, really being a river and sharing it with your team, with arts, with us, with um, your market, sharing it on your page, and then applying it into your life. So that way you're getting something out of it. You're behavior driven. You're, you're, um, you're doing things um, every single day that are moving you closer. And as you're growing, I mean, they say success, it's not a, a destination that you reach. It's the person that you become. When you become the person that you need to be to reach where you need where where you need to go that's when you see success and so that's what I love about personal development because that's what it helps us do and there's a reason Beachbody puts it in there because I mean even CEOs that own multi-million billion dollar companies you know will give thanks to personal development will say that that's what got them there where they had mentors or books or anything that they read to help them move forward <clears throat> and so I want to go over something that as I was before the leadership ladder before it was even here, which I absolutely love the leadership ladder, so that's why I'm encouraging you to look at it. If you haven't yet, whether you're brand new or veteran coach, look at the leadership ladder, go into the FAQ and look at it because it is the it focuses on <clears throat> stability and growth. It gives you benchmarks beyond just rank, beyond emerald and diamond and star diamonds. It gives you much more to look at so that you're building a solid foundation for growth and long-term growth um, makes you look at where you're earning that month if you're hitting success club how many coaches of yours are seeing success and getting points on the board by helping people and also what your week leg volume is which we'll go over on um, the next couple of slides but when I first started a goal of mine was to get home from the service industry it was one of my main goals before after you know wanting to get healthy which I did I really wanted to get home. And so I sat down with Brittany and I asked her, I said, what do I need to do? And she's like, well, do you know how much you need to make to get home? What would you need to make to replace your income to get you home? And so that's the first thing I did. I sat down, I figured out what I needed tips and checks. And then I even subtracted what we'd save on gas and babysitting um, to come up with a number. And once I did that, she showed me how to really build that, not just with retail, you guys. I was never a huge retailer, and even if I was, and, and when I do have great retailers, I always have them step back and look at what they can do with their team, and building their team. And that's why they put weak leg volume on here, you guys, because weak leg volume is um, where your growth, where your team growth is happening. Your strong leg, let me explain, your strong leg is where depending on where you're placed on your downline is where other coaches above you are also placing coaches. And those coaches that are placed under you by other coaches above you are helping your volume. So that's why your, your leg will be stronger or higher in numbers. It can be left, it can be right, it just depends. Your weak leg is only you. It's only the coaches that you're placing under you and that your coaches are placing. So that is why they call it the weak leg because your strong leg is being helped by people above you and above them and above them. Um, which that can always switch. If you build a dynamic team and they're doing incredible, you, your weak leg and strong leg can flip. But we won't talk about that right now. <clears throat> We're just talking about why they chose the weak leg volume because that really on the leadership ladder because that really shows your team growth because it's only you and your team that are building that leg um, instead of people that are above you and you can see it breaks it down for you if you go in the FAQ it breaks it down even more um, and explains what each thing means um, but this is what you want to go after I especially um, if you're really in this for the long one you really want to see that growth where you see you know <clears throat> stability Retail, yes, you're always going to you know, have people to help, but as far as long-term income growth, that's where you're going to see it. But I'm going to go into um, how he really broke it down for me and was like, this is what you need to get on your weak leg, your strong leg, to get where you're going. And the reason she went over team volume with me instead of retail, um, beyond success club, is be, like I said, that's where the long-term growth comes in. That's where I would see the stable paychecks coming in for me to get home. And so that's where I wanted to go with you guys. Um, no, I'm not income driven. That's why you don't see me talk about it a lot. But to get to those goals that we do have, income does come in play. And see, have, helping our teams see success is so important to me. That I, that's why I love to go over volume and everything because when they see success, 
that's when your volume grows, that's when your income becomes more stable, and <clears throat> that's when we can celebrate you reaching goals, getting home, retiring husbands, putting kids in private schools, whatever it may be. So this is, um, on the left, I put what your volume caps out at for every rank. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail, especially team volume and team book cycle bonuses, because there are great videos on YouTube from Team Beachbody, and your coach may have even done one, but they have great um, YouTube videos breaking down how team cycle bonus works, team volume works. Um, so I just really wanted to show you what the caps are for each rank. And why we always get so excited about, you know, getting to Emerald and, and reaching that first milestone because that's when you start to see more income coming in from the teams that you're building, from the people that are seeing the vision with you and are going out there and helping people right alongside you. That ripple effect, that's when you start to see the benefit of it and it caps out at 250. So right there, you guys, that's a thousand dollars a month. I mean, what could you do with that? For me, I mean, that was more than enough to get me home. And so I really wanted to um, push for that. And so I got, I went green as soon as I could. And then I started looking for people with the same vision as me so I could build that income that would um, get me home. Um, and I broke it down on the right. Um, this is weak leg versus strong leg, obviously. So the lesser number would be your weak leg and the higher number your strong leg. Now that could be left or right for you. Either way, just know that the weak leg would be this number and the would be 1375 and the strong leg would be 2750. And that would get you the $250 max. This is just team volume that we're talking about. And as you go, guys, and if you're trying to figure out beyond 2000 or you know, when you get to that level, just keep doubling it. All I did was multiply by two. Um, but that's just the at least number. So if your strong leg is 10,000 right now and you just need to build up your weak leg to 1375 and you'll cap out at 250 and then beyond that if your strong legs 10,000 and you want to cap you know get to $500 a week team volume and you'll just work to get your weak leg to 2750 and so on and so forth and so those are the benchmarks that I always use um, as I you know put out there you know I want to get to this you know, next milestone um, of earning income. I want to get to this next one of, for the leadership ladder. These are the, what I use um, to really gauge that growth and to know exactly what I need to get to reach that milestone. And so that's why I want to share that with you. Um, if you don't have a second to write it down, that's okay. I'm going to share the slides in the group as well. So you don't have to worry about getting them all written down right now. Um, I want to make sure that you have it as you set your goals. But I have to go back and really encourage you guys to create this dream board. It is so important. Writing them down is one thing and then getting it on a picture, making this your background, making it so you see it every single day when you turn on your computer or your phone, it really just ingrains it in your, in your memory, in your subconscious. And that moment when you want to push snooze one more time or you want to watch two more episodes of your favorite show on Netflix, you tend to not do it. Because you're like, wait a minute, I gotta get up. I wanna delegate cleaning this year. I wanna take my little guy to Legoland. I can't do that if I push snooze one more time. I can't be there for my team that I wanna help see so much success if I watch two more shows instead of making a graphic that could help them or putting together a team call or putting together um, a coach opportunity call. You could be doing those things. You know, you decide to choose to do the things that move you forward instead of something that is just comfort and luxury when you know that you could do what you could do right now could help you do what you want to do later you know doing what others won't right now gets you to do what you what others can't later and that's what always excites me and pushes me to do just a little bit more when i want to go to sleep i've been fighting the sickness for like over a week now and i said i just want to go to sleep i was like no i had to get this dream board done i had to get the slides done and, and it excites me because i was so excited just to go over this with you guys that i it didn't matter to me i wanted to get it done and that'll happen to you too. It takes practice. It takes controlling your thoughts um, from, okay, I'm going to put this together, but I really don't see it happening to you. I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to figure out how. I'm going to figure out how. I'm going to talk to my coach. I'm going to schedule one-on-one -on -one calls. I'm going to be at every team call. I'm going to, I'm going to look up YouTube videos, whatever it is, you can do it. And to this day, we'll search YouTube videos on something I might be having trouble with, whether it's inviting or bullshit, whatever it is, I will 
search YouTube, I will search Google, and there are plenty of top coaches that are just rivers that just put it all out there for you. So take control of your resources, make the dream board. That's my call to action today is to make a dream board, whether you share it with your coach, share it in Team Dynasty, a design for now page, um, share it in there so that we can all cheer you on, so that we can all keep each other accountable and really get to celebrate with you when you start putting X's or stars or however you want to cover it up when you reach your goals. So um, that being said, there's another thing besides the dream board. My mentor, she was telling me, um, you know, as you're making these goals, just don't, don't just write them down and have them in front of you. She's like, you need to speak them into existence. You know, not just saying, I will, I hope, I might, but saying I am. I am a diamond coach. I am a five-star diamond unique. I am a two-star diamond premier. I am earning 500 a week by July. And I feel incredible and empowered because I'm helping my family pay bills. I am earning $250, $250 a week. And I feel accomplished because I'm able to, you know, help my husband, people, you know, whatever it is, speak it into existence. Not only say I am, but how you feel. And I promise you, you'll not only feel good right now saying it, but you're going to feel so good when it happens. And you're like, I almost teared up right now. Just thinking about it for you guys, because I know it's possible. So I want to encourage you as you're doing, even as you're doing the dream board, be like, I, I just bought my piano for my birthday. You know, like you saw on there, you know, I just delegated cleaning it. It feels so good to come home to a clean house. All I have to do is keep and I can just get straight to work and not worry about it. You know, whatever it is that you're looking for, speak it into existence, you guys. And with that, I want to open it up for questions because I know there might be with all that I went over. Hopefully I made sense since my brain's a little foggy. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up for questions if you have any.